Welcome to the video starting in on chapter 7 all about gases and there's a lot of this chapter that's um, going to be skipped the first two sections 7.1 and 7.2 covering the properties of gases and the pressure is an online lecture so you want to make sure that you uh, review that before coming here then the section 7.3 to 7.7 .7 covers a bunch of individual gas laws which are really helpful for kind of just understanding gases um, but we aren't going to be doing a lot of discussion with the gases we're, we're basically just going to be doing some calculations so um, those individual gas laws aren't as important to us so we're actually just going to skip to the most important gas law and that is the ideal gas law So the ideal gas law combines all four properties of our gases, so pressure, volume, temperature, and the amount of gas uh, in moles. That's covered in section 7.1. And when we put those together, uh, we actually use all those individual laws. But we get this PV equals NRT. And a lot of people like to nickname this Puvnert. Uh, that is probably what I will refer to it, although its technical name is the ideal gas law. To me, Puvnert is just a little bit more fun, and it helps you remember kind of what um, values are in there. So this is definitely an equation that you are going to want to know. So we have our different um, properties of gases. This is their pressure. Okay, and remember capitalization is really important in chemistry. So pressure is a capital P, volume is a capital V, the amount of moles, okay, or amount of gas that's in moles, that's a lowercase n. Then we have temperature is a capital T. Okay, and this R value here, this is a constant and it makes the equation work out for all of the relationships that had to be um, examined in order to get to this equation. So R is the gas constant. And there are many different values for R depending on what units you're using. Your book gives you two of them. Okay. And um, that was one of the questions or one of the places to fill out on your pre-lecture worksheet was the value and the units of the R gas constant. Okay. The one that I recommend um, kind of putting into your memory bank is 0 0.0821. And the units on that are liters times atmospheres divided by moles times Kelvin. Now, although this is a value that you're going to use a lot, and hopefully you'll just naturally memorize, um, this would be something, say, on the, the final exam, the paper exam, where you're not allowed any notes, um, this value would be on the front page, so you don't have to memorize it. Um, but you do need to know how to apply it, okay? Uh, whereas Povnert here, the ideal gas law, will not be given on the front page of the exam, so you'll need to know that equation. And much like everything in, in chemistry, um, equation-wise, really the way that you get to know it is just by working through uh, a number of examples and just using it a lot. Okay. So let's go ahead and use it in an example.
So if a 12 liter container contains or has 33 grams of neon gas at 50 degrees Celsius, what is the pressure? Usually any time uh, that I know that I'm working with gases, any time I start to see you know, volumes and, and uh, pressures and amounts and temperatures, I just find it's easy to list all of my values of Pouvenert kind of down the side of my paper. Okay. And then while I'm working or reading through the problem, I can kind of fill in what I've been given. Okay, so basically all of these over here, these have been given okay, to some, some extent. We may have to convert our units, but the values there to start with at least have been given. So if we go back and read our question, we have if a 12 liter container, so what unit or what uh, quality of a gas does that correspond to? Well, we have units of liters here. A liter is a volume. So our volume of our gas is going to be 12.0 liters. Okay, now, although it says that this is the volume of our container, remember part of our definition of the gas phase, the, okay, that gas state, is that the gas is going to completely consume its container. So whatever size container it is, that's how much gas there is. And then we have uh, 33 grams of neon gas. Okay, so that's our amount of gas that we have, which corresponds to our N value. But remember, we want to keep our units good. Okay, we can't have grams. Grams basically does us no good in any type of calculation. We want N to be in moles. So we're going to have to convert our grams into our moles. And our gas here is at 50 degrees Celsius, so that's our temperature. And what units do we want our temperature in? Well, it all depends. Okay? It depends on what gas constant you're going to use. Okay? And actually, for any of the gas constants that we're going to use or are presented in your book, that temperature component is in Kelvin. Okay, so we need to convert our temperature from degrees Celsius to Kelvin. Okay. So our R value okay, is a constant. It's never going to change. So we have 0 0.0821 liters times atmospheres divided by moles Kelvin. And our units of volume we are given in liters. And that works out because we have liters in our R constant. So those are going to cancel each other out. What's nice about listing all of our values here over on the side is now that we've read through the problem okay, and we've listed everything that we've been given, we can see that we have all of our values for Pouvenert except for one. So that means that we can use Pouvenert to arrive at our pressure. So we can use Pouvenert. And what are your what are the units that we're going to calculate for pressure? Well from 7.2 you saw there is quite a few units of pressure. And by the way, those conversions you do not have to memorize. Those will be given to you um, on the cumulative final. Um, definitely want to have it handy, though, for your next exam, since you do have um, a, a, your notes available to you. Okay. When we use Pouvenert, okay, using these values and using this R value, the units of pressure that we're going to get are whatever the units of pressure in our R value. Okay, so atmospheres are in our unit of pressure. So when we use Pouvenert with these values, our pressure, excuse me, is going to be in atmospheres. 
so let's do, we have two conversions to do here. We have our n, our amount. So we need to convert our n. We need to go from 33 grams of neon to moles of neon. And how do we do that conversion? How do we get from grams to moles? We use our molar mass. All right, and where do we find that information? Find that on our periodic table. And then we also need to convert our temperature. We need to go from 50 degrees Celsius to Kelvin. And how do we convert from degrees Celsius to Kelvin? We want to add 273. Technically, it's 273.15. Um, 273 should be good enough for us. Um, I haven't actually looked at the sapling site. Hopefully, that will also work for sapling. All right, so let's do these conversions. We have 33 grams of neon. We want to go from grams of neon to moles of neon. We consult our periodic table. We have neon here as a atomic mass of 20.18. That's 20.18 grams per how many moles? Per one mole. Always per one mole when we're talking about molar mass. And then down here, we want to take our 50 degrees Celsius, add 273 to get that into Kelvin. Well, I can just do that with the calculator. So we have 323 Kelvin. Look at our neon here. We have 33 grams divided by 20.18. And I have 1.635. I started off with two sig figs, so I need two sig figs in the end. So I'm going to have 1.6 moles of neon. All right. So now we are ready to plug this into Hovnert, PV equals NRT, our ideal gas law. I'm going to switch pens just to kind of try and divide my notes up a little bit. Whenever I start working with Hovnert, I always write it out. And I want to solve for my unknown. Okay. Now, for those of you who don't like algebra, yes, you can plug your numbers in, multiply it out, and do your division later. Um, yes, you can do that. It is good math practice, though, to solve your equation with your symbols first and then plug in your numbers last. Okay, so that's what I will be doing to try and be a good role model for you in your mathematical operations. So what I mean by that is I'm not going to plug any of these numbers in yet. We're looking for P, so I want to isolate P. I have volume here. I want to get it to the other side, so I'm going to divide both sides by volume. That way volume cancels, and I'm left with pressure is equal to the amount of gas, our N, times our gas constant, times temperature, divided by volume. So now I plug my numbers in. My N, I have 1.6 moles of neon. My R value is 0 0.0821 liters times atmospheres, divided by moles times Kelvin. And my temperature is 323 
Kelvin. And then I'm dividing all of that by my volume, which is 12.0 liters. And it's always a good idea to try and, or to make sure all of your units cancel out correctly. That way you know that you did this algebra step correct. And you're always going to be canceling your units off of your R value. Okay, so we start with liters up top, liters down in the bottom, so those cancel out. You have uh, moles in the denominator and moles in the numerator, so those cancel. Kelvin up in the numerator, Kelvin in the denominator, so those cancel. And the only units that we're left with are atmospheres, okay, which is what we're after because we want the pressure. So, excuse me, our pressure is going to be equal to 1.6 times 0 0.0821 times 323. And I'm going to divide that by 12. I need two sig figs from our original two sig figs in our mass. So I have 3.5 atmospheres. Excellent. In the next video, I will show you a shortcut for that sometimes works depending on the um, parameters of our pressure and our temperature.